What is up guys, Coach Joe, Garage De La Swole, and the question has been, am I back? But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Yes, I am back, baby. So we have the Mid-Atlantic OSG qualifier, which is September 21st, 22nd. So if I do well in that, then I get the OSG open. Now the caveat, baby, is I'm in the open class. So that means I can get large and in charge bulbous, striated, dense, gargantuan, fill in whatever adjectives you like, but that's the goal. So we're consuming a lot of calories, we're trying to push training, and this is day one of the prep. Now, I brought on two coaches and kind of, well, three-ish coaches to help me out with this prep. So I got Alan Thrall, who's been in my corner since day one. I love the way he programs. Him and I, very like-minded. So We've been riffing back and forth, and that is gonna be the program that I'll be running all the way through the prep. And I also have Charlie Jung, who is one of my close buddies, more of a bodybuilder now, but has experience in strength sports powerlifting, and he's gonna help me in with nutrition, performance, all that kind of stuff, just optimize my health so I can be just an absolute machine as we get rolling into it. And then that's kind of umbrellaed under Team Evil Genius, who helps me out with all sorts of other stuff. Today what we have going on is gonna be day one of the prep. It's actually a low stress week for this week, uh, meaning that, you know, just to get back in the groove of it, uh, I'm gonna start off pretty simple and then each week just keep adding more volume, right? And then this is gonna be primarily a hypertrophy and GPP block. So we got 80 press, which is essentially a seated overhead military press, 10 reps there. We're gonna do six, seven, eight for the RPEs. We're gonna superset a lot today. So we got rear delt flies to superset that. Then from there, we're gonna do standing Arnold presses, some behind the neck pull down superset there. And then we're gonna finish with some dumbbell laterals and tricep extensions. So I am foreshadowing just insane shoulder pump, baby. I got a cutoff under this, so hopefully when I take it off, it's not too embarrassing. But man, we had Easter. Hopefully you guys had a great Easter. I've been eating a ton of food, a lot of chocolate eggs. So the carb slash glycogen tanks are full. So we're just gonna get after it. I'm gonna keep these uh, just shorter vlog here, talk through it. Hopefully it's like, a, I don't know, eight to 12 minute video, that's it. And we're just gonna get right into it. I've already warmed up, I already got the bars loaded. So let's start cranking out some reps. Wait, the people wanna know. What do they wanna know? Are you rocking the jeans? Too? Am I rocking the freaking jeans, <laughs> dog? Look, this is like one of the best dad fits. You, look, I got new balances, I mean, only thing better would be Nike Monarchs, but that'll come in time. I got these jeans, they're stretchy. There's no hole in the crotch. Uh, under this, well, I'll have a cutoff, but I did have like a, a big dad shirt on. But you know, we gotta, we gotta let the people know here that we're striated. So I, I put on a cutoff and hopefully, like I said, it'll be just gargantuan, bulbous, just, you know, I don't know why I did that, <laughs> but we did it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get out of here. So we got last set, 205, 10 reps, AD press, baby. I like this because it takes away uh, a little bit of fatigue from doing like a standard strict press and just isolates those shoulders a lot. So when you're doing the AD press, you want just like the one notch down on the incline. I like using that just to really pin my back to the bench. Not too much of an arch, uh, but it's a little bit better than being completely vertical. So 10 reps here and then uh, We'll do our last superset for the shoulder flies going to the next set of exercises. Got to turn the hat this way so I don't clock my hat off.
So it's supposed to be RP7. I feel like that was pretty accurate. Feeling actually really good uh, with shoulder strength on top of just having more calories you know, than in the past. So we're definitely growing. Let's just keep the growth, baby. Pardon the interruption of the video here, but this ad is brought to you by me, and this is our Bells of Steel Hydra Series rack. Very modular and comes with not only a beautiful female, actually she's not part of it, but she's my fiance, but she looks great in the rack. We have the Bulgarian split squat attachment, we have the seal row pad attachment, we got the multi-bar pull-up system and a regular pull-up bar that is just too short for me, but it's great for Jordan. So, if you guys want a Bells of Steel Hydra Series rack, check out the link below. Now, back to the action. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so as the pump forecast predicted, Man, I'm feeling it already. I only did two exercises, did the AD press, the rear delt flies, and I am feeling juicy. So now we got Arnold's, which I haven't done in a long time. Probably I'm talking like high school. So I'm actually excited to do those. Then we have behind the neck pull downs, which I'm very nervous because I don't think I'm gonna have much range of motion on these, but heck, I'm doing them anyway. So real quick, we got three sets, 10 to 12 reps, around an RP8 for all of these. Uh, and like I said, this is a hypertrophy, and GPP block. So anytime I'm getting into a prep, I always like to deload or low stress, bring my systemic fatigue you know, very low so I'm recovered, refreshed, and then gradually start building into that prep. It's really good to lay the foundation with a hypertrophy block, you know, higher volume, just adding size to the muscle and getting that GPP in, building our work capacity. So then we get into those smaller reps of that three to five, whatever, higher intensities. Our body's prepared, we got some of that off-season muscle in, and then we're really ready to crush and maximize our strength gain. So that's kind of the format I typically follow. I'll do one or two hypertrophy blocks into a strength phase, or then a testing realization phase, depending how far I'm out. But we're about, I think, 26 weeks from the competition. So it's gonna give me a nice solid four to five blocks of training to really be as prepped as possible, as well as hitting my nutritional uh, requirements to optimize that performance. All right guys, as we go through this program, I just wanna give myself a shameless plug that I have a ton of programs on these Ad Strength programming app. Links down below in the description if you like this format of programming, a program very similar, and I'm sure you'll find a ton of programs that could work best for you, whether it's hypertrophy, power building, power lifting, strength training, strongman, etc. Check it out. Dude, I am freaking just pumped to the gills right now. That is a lot of shoulder volume. But like I said, this is supposed to be a hypertrophy and GPP phase, so it's just par for the course, but I am loving it. And this is gonna be a five day split. So each one of these workouts, I'll film and explain and kind of recap things so you guys are following along the whole way. Uh, the last super set that we got here, we're gonna do barbell skull crushers. They're actually supposed to be katana extensions. I don't have a functional training cable machine just yet. Uh, so I just did that quick swap to hit the triceps here. Now, what I would say to do is get that full range of motion, bring the bar behind your head. And I used to use the bench as like tactile feedback to make sure that I'm getting full range of motion. However, I do have some sort of pec strain or a partial tear that happened all the way in October. And for some reason, whenever I reach back behind my head doing these, it irritates that. So for me, I'm just gonna work on touching my forehead, which makes sure that I'm getting the same range of motion at least as much as I can uh, consistently with each rep, but also working around that pec issue. If you don't have any pec issues or any lat issues, by all means, try to get the biggest range of motion possible. Uh, so that's just what we're doing here. Three sets, eight to 10 reps for the skull crushers around an RP8. And then we're gonna be super setting with just lateral raises, which I absolutely love lateral raises. And for these, the shoulders actually felt pretty good and they have gotten stronger. So I was rocking 35s and I'm hoping to you know, progressively push that weight week by week. But overall, great session, wasn't super long. I like keeping the pace a little bit quicker because we had those supersets, which just leads me to my last point. If you guys are crunched on time, uh, I would absolutely try to do supersets or giant sets when you can. Not only are you gonna get a good amount of volume in, right, a lot of reps, good pump, uh, but you're also going to be working on your heart rate, getting some GPP in and saving time. So a little bit of a hack or strategy for you there if you wanna give it a shot. All right guys, so that's all we have for day one of the prep, about 26 weeks out from my OSG qualifier competition. Really stoked. Like I said, I went open class so I can fully maximize my strength potential. And to be completely honest with you guys, all I'm trying to do is bring the best package forward that I have in my strongman career, okay? So yes, it'd be great to win, it'd be great to podium, those are all awesome things that I strive for. But at the same time for me, it's about getting back into the sport, having fun, and trying to beat 
you know, my old numbers or whatever previous performances I've had in Strongman. I'm in a great place overall mentally and just a lot of awesome things going on in life. So just putting my head down, you know, getting after it, trying new things, experimenting, having fun, brought on some coaches who are also my friends to give me the guidance that I need and just super stoked to see what happens. So we're gonna be putting on some weight, some size, we're gonna be pushing some weight in the gym and it's just gonna be an absolute blast. But like I said, guys, if you're interested in any programming, right, we have links down below in the prescri uh, prescription. <laughs> I didn't pick up my prescription. I need my prescription, it's on my mind. We have links down below in the description to support the channel. We got Bells of Steel equipment in the gym that has just been absolutely wonderful to have. They're great for home gyms or even commercial gym setups. So definitely check them out and a lot of other links below that you can help support this. Uh, but that's pretty much all I have, guys. I'm gonna be putting out just more training content sporadically going, or going over programming overview, nutrition, doing some other cool fun videos that I had working with other people and yeah, that's it. Life is good right now. Life is great. You know, we've, we've been having a great day today, so I'm just stoked that you guys are here and hopefully you can pick up uh, just some little pointers or tips and tricks to help you with your training. And like I said, we'll be diving in all the ins and outs of the program leading up to the show. Uh, so yeah, just appreciate you guys following along. Make sure you guys stay a lean, mean strength health machine, and I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.